and welcome to Makers Monday. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to do last week. Um, but back here this week, um, I didn't forget, I was absolutely up to my eyeballs. So, back this week and um, yeah, I've got a few things. Um, I haven't actually done any finishing, um, but I have been cutting out and I have cut out loads because I think I'm going to dive straight into acquisitions this week. So, I got a present. I got me one of these rotary cutters and uh, I love it. It is absolutely blinking amazing. Along with a really big cutting mat. Hello. It's one of the A, A2 sized. So it's huge. Um, and it certainly is perfecto. For all the bits and pieces that I've been cutting out. So, rotary cutter and things. Now, other acquisitions then. I'll move the bit I've been cutting out over a second. Other acquisitions then. I went to a fabric sale. Well, no, I should start with a proper story. We went to... Oh, God, where did we go? We went out for a bit. Doesn't happen very often. And yet I still can't remember where the hell we'd gone. Anyway, we went out for a bit and came back and there was a little sign at the top of the road pointing down the lane saying fabric sale. So I followed the sign. And it took us just literally across the valley to our neighbour. And our neighbour across the valley um, rents out, um, they were formerly the Welsh Retreat, and, uh, and they rent out some of their barns um, to various people now. And there's a lady over there that runs sewing classes. She runs classes at home in Newcastle Emlyn and in Carmarthen and uh, under the name of Thimble um, on Facebook. And she was selling off a load of fabrics and there were also people there from her sewing classes um, that wanted to sell off any excess bits or fabrics that they suddenly decided they just that didn't have enough to do with or whatever. Anyway, the, People were selling fabric. <laughs> fabric number one. A nice cotton. Saying William's favourite word. So, yeah. I think Dino Boy's going to end up with a hat out of that. Probably an Oliver and S bucket hat again out of that. I then picked up some jersey with some trees on it how fab is that so there's all sorts of different tree prints black and white jersey wondering wondering if I could dye that a different color bit of fabric dye dye that a different color a base color and have the black on something maybe a bit more me because I don't really do white clothes not living on a farm anyway then I got some cord some needle cord with some funky print um how did i get how much did i get of that to be fair i don't know that probably good half meter good half meter of that so good half meter so that would do a few pockets for maybe a york pinafore be a rather jazzy pocket there or even, if I split the pattern up, I could colour block it a bit and have a go at colour blocking with that. And then I got some linen. Nice little piece of linen. And, uh, which can do something. I've got lots of different linens. I've got some beige linens as well. So this might get teamed up with some of the beige ones as a bit of a bit of a stronger accent colour but yeah it's a nice sort of earthy tone it's been washed out a bit by the so that was the majority of my acquisitions and then I owed Camille a pound so I nipped home dropped boys off gave them their lunch and nipped back with more money <laughs> and I got a load of this really 70s 
slinky soft slinky jersey look at that for the drape and i got some of this as you can see there's already pattern pieces <laughs> i've already cut it out very slinky jersey so we've got a nice burnt orange and a nice tealy blue Ta -da! and um i think i found my next um metamorphic dress so that's going to be my next metamorphic dress so i've cut out the pattern pieces for a metamorphic dress i have cut out so far some minion harems in baby sizes this is now animal harems and these are slightly bigger these are william sized harry potter marauders map harems Doo -doo. so yeah so three pairs of baby harems and i've cut out a dress I'm going to be on a big cutout spree, I think, in the next week or so. Just cut everything out. I've got a couple of people I need to measure to get some measurements for bits and pieces. And, yeah, I'm just going to go and cut loads and loads and loads of stuff out. So when I can, I'm just going to sit down and just sew. I work better that way, I seem to think now. I think if I've got a load of things, it's the cutting out that stalls me. Um, I get really, really stuck. Um... But if it's all cut out, and I just go on a think, right, I'm just going to cut a load of stuff out, cut it all out, and then it's just there. So I can just pick it up and sew it. So if I get half an hour, I can just come up here and sew it. So that's what I plan to do. Um, so knitting um, is downstairs currently. Um, I haven't managed to do any more crochet on knitting and crochet make this knitting and crochet i haven't managed to do any more of this blanket because i keep leaving it upstairs so i need to take this downstairs and crack on with that but first of all um it was my dad's birthday on the weekend and he's got one sock so far mum's coming up in a couple of weeks so um she can collect the socks but i really need to crack on and get that second sock done i'll insert a photo of the finished sock here Um, but also, I also need to crack on with the socks of doom as well. Um, pull back the toes, pull back a couple of inches and re-knit the toes on. Because um, they're about two inches too long apparently. So I will re-knit those up so my dad can actually wear them. Um, and hopefully, because it's literally, it's just pulling it back, picking up the stitches and knitting the toes on. Hopefully I can get them, get the one sock finished and the toes done on the other socks um, by the time mum comes up for Wonderwall eh, fingers crossed fingers crossed um, so yeah um, no real finished objects this week as I said it's just been really cutting out and as I said I'm going to get really into it and get really loads of stuff cut out and then hopefully I can just crack on and make a load of stuff but we've got Wonderwall coming up now in a couple of weeks I've got um, a little shopping list developing for that um, and yeah hopefully now with it being the easter holidays i might have a little bit more crafting time but we shall see we shall see anyway so whatever you're doing this week have fun and i shall see you all again soon bye